Hello Huntley High School and welcome to the HHS Show. I'm your host Sean Carberry. Here in the studio we do things such as interviews, features, skits, sports updates, games, and whatever else we can think of. We bring this to you every Wednesday along with your Friday newscast. Enjoy. Hello HHS and welcome to this week's teacher feature. Today we have Mr. Grabner with us. All right, Mr. Grabner, what kind of things do you like to do around the school? Uh, you know, I obviously I teach math, yeah. uh, coach soccer. I'm on the school improvement committee, yeah. and I am also on the district curriculum committee. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Well, what kind of experiences have you had throughout all those clubs and coaching and just teaching in general? Um, wow, all, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I've, this is my 13th year here. Um, met a lot of, a lot of students that yeah. um, have come through that um, have been able to have a lot of nice relationships with that, you know, they come back and uh, interesting now they're starting to bring their kids back, which scares me a little bit. <laughs> that yeah. old, but um, that, you know, that building those relationships has been, has been great. Well, have any students ever told you that you were such a big motivation to them or just, just no, a motive, just not, never? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Uh, I, I actually have a folder of where students have written me after they've gone away to college yeah. just to say, say thanks or wh whatever it might be that, uh, you know, those, those are actually the things that I think keep us teachers going when, when you have somebody that has moved on to yeah. their next level and they, they come back and, and recognize you for the work you've done. Uh, that's, that's important to all of us. Yeah. Well, I had a question. What do you think would be like good advice for an incoming freshman? Because they don't really know what to expect here at high school and they don't know where their life is going to go. So if you had any advice, what would you be able to give them? Uh, do your homework. <laughs> Definitely. Simple as that. Do your homework. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that's the number one thing academically. Get your work done, study, make sure your grades are as strong as they can possibly be, um, and then get involved in something. Wh whatever it is, get involved and be the best you can at whatever that is. Yeah. Um, whether it's a sport, whether it's a band or musicals, plays, you know, we have so many different things going on here at the high school take advantage of them, uh, you'll find a, a, a different group of friends than you probably have right yeah. now. And I think that's a big part of the high school experience. Do you have any recommendations for said clubs or sports? I, you know, it just depends on what you're interested yeah. in. Yeah. I, I always want to be part of the fishing club, but I never have time to go fishing yeah. with them. I always have a soccer game or something yeah. else going on. But yeah, it's just uh, find something you're interested in. And if there isn't a club already, create a club. Yeah. Do you enjoy teaching math or just coaching soccer? I mean, yeah, I, I was um, I was originally in management and um, decided to become a teacher and a coach because I wanted to be able to give more back. I, I didn't yeah. feel like I had that part of my life, and um, through the teaching, and I, I picked math because I had a I had a geometry teacher that really made math fun and made it a fun place to go whereas a lot of times it's it can be uh, a little boring and, yeah, definitely. and heavy at times and you know that was something that I t want to try to bring so I always try to have goofy stories and just try to make the the math class a little lighter so that uh, you know time goes by and you enjoy the, the yeah. math and I like scaring people too that's <laughs> yeah so I mean, don't fall asleep in my class oh I'll try not to yeah. Well, what kind of funny stories do you have? I mean, you mentioned those. Uh, you know, I had a kid that had the hiccups one day. <laughs> and um, I said, you know, I really should scare you and get rid of those hiccups. And he goes, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, scare me. And I screamed as loud as I could really fast. And he freaked out. He goes, I said, don't do that. And I said, no, you told me to do it. <laughs> so, you know, he, he stopped hiccuping, though. Yeah. <laughs> so that I'll bet. That would be that good. Was good. Um, I had another student that fell asleep, so I stole all the stuff off his desk, <laughs> put it on my desk, and then walk over and, and scared him to wake him up, which yeah. I thought was, I enjoyed it. I don't know that he did, but he didn't fall asleep in my class again. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think are like the hardest things and the best things about teaching? I mean, you seem to have a lot of fun at your job. I try. I try. You know, I, I told somebody the other day, if you can walk in on Monday with a smile on your face yeah. at any job, it's the right job. Yeah. And I walk in every day, every Monday with a smile on my face. I'm happy to be here. Um, the, the challenging part is always to, to try to meet all of your students yeah. wherever they're at. That, that's the biggest challenge, I think. Um, managing time, especially with being a coach and got a lot of late nights uh, when you're coming back from road trips. I think the management of your time 
is absolutely critical and that's, that's a big challenge. And that's, that's to me why as a student you need to be involved in a lot of different things so that you learn to manage your time, you learn to budget your time appropriately and get good at it. But, yeah. Do you have any stories from your soccer coaching? Oh, there's all kinds of them. Yeah. Um, I don't know, from, from coaching, boy, I think, uh, man, that's, that's a good one, the coaching. Yeah. We were playing Marion Central. This was, I think, my first year here, and one of my players got hit where it doesn't feel too good. Yeah, there. <laughs> I know our how whole that team, feels. Our whole team surrounded him. It happened to be at Marion Central, right in front of the fans, and their entire football team was, was right there, probably yeah. 15 <laughs> yards from where it happened. And uh, one of the guys looked at the guy on the ground and said, will you have my baby? And I think it was one of the funniest <laughs> things. Of course, the guy that got hit was not laughing. But the rest of us thought it was hilarious. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, well, you've obviously been here for a long time. As you said, you started teaching 13 years ago. So what is your response to the growing population, just all the new changes? I mean, the hub just opened this year. We're getting a new wing just behind us, too. Just what do you think? Like, what's your response to that? I think it's great. Yeah. Um, I was actually, when, when the discussion came up about two schools versus one, I was a, a big proponent for keeping it one. Yeah. Um, I've seen what has happened to the Woodstocks and the Grays Lakes when yeah. they split into two, how hard yeah. it was from a lot of different aspects. Yeah, academically definitely. And, you know, from sports and um, activities. Um, so I was real happy that we stayed together. Yeah. The, the changes, I mean, we were about 1,100 students when I started here 13 years ago. Yeah. And... Um, you pretty much knew everybody now. Yeah, I don't know nearly as many people here <laughs> yeah. as I feel like I used to, but um, I think it has allowed us to offer a lot more. We have so much more going on because we have so many students to fill a lot of those activities and those clubs and all that stuff. So I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, love the the new wing. I also had a question that I myself wanted to ask: How hard is it to remember every kid's name that you encounter? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, one of my assistant coaches, Mr. Boynton, would, he would learn everybody's names in the first probably 20 minutes. Yeah. That might be 100 people. He would have them down. I'm not that good. So <laughs> it's a struggle for me. Yeah, definitely. Cause it's a struggle. I, I have to work at it pretty hard. Yeah, most teachers I've encountered have felt the same thing. Because yeah. I have a lot of forgetful teachers, I'll tell. They're calling me wrong names and just... <laughs> I call the player by the wrong name. Though, yeah, so. I know. I'm yelling Alyssa, and it was not Alyssa. I'm like, yeah. why isn't she doing it? Somebody said, that's not Alyssa. I've heard, <laughs> so I've heard my brother's name called towards me multiple times this year, and it's yeah. not been fun. So. It runs in my family. My, yeah. My grandfather called everybody or called me everybody else's name before he got them. <laughs> so that's funny. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's all that we have time for. So thank you, Mr. Grabner. Thanks. No problem.